Welcome back everyone! I am the Moy Chicken and this is more Deja Vu and in the last episode we punched people <laughs> including the butler who is blocking our way into this the luxurious Sternwood mansion so we are here to find out more because the uh, the woman that's in the trunk that we can't help in any way which I still kind of feel bad about uh, we gave her drugs while she was sleeping and she told us that she lives here so let's look around let's see first we will start off on the first floor and go through here Open the door. That looks like it might be a kitchen. Let's go see what's cooking. You're in the kitchen. It's quite clean. Okay. Let's look around. Um, small jar. Okay. This table is very... <laughs> this table is very interesting. One could stand here for hours just admiring the nails. <laughs> cool. Thanks, game. Thanks for the sarcasm. It's a bit of sliced sausage. Can I use that on myself? I want to eat. I haven't eaten since I woke up in the bathroom. Alright, let, let me take it. I must eat this sliced sausage. <laughs> Bad end, you ate the sausage. <laughs> you eat the sausage and it kills you. <laughs> I hope it doesn't, but we'll find out. I'd like to use it on me, please. Eating someone's leftover food makes you feel sick. You die. <laughs> Alright, what else we got? Um... This pan's made for frying, and that's just what you'll do if you don't stop wasting time. Oh, a memory! Another memory comes... Another memory wave from your childhood comes through. It's mother! She's baked a cake. Maybe it's your birthday or some other occasion. Cool. So I mentioned when we got, when our, when we got our memory back that there are a bunch of memories that are supposed to, like, kind of flood back as, like, in the original game, they kind of, like, flood, flood it back over time. That may be one of them, or they may have just added that for some reason. I don't think that has any relevance in the entire game. Like, you don't have to have seen that to do anything or anything like that. It's just sort of like a thing. I don't know. Small jar. I, I don't... I'm not finding anything cool in the kitchen. Uh, I guess we'll check the jars. Let's open up the jars. I don't know what would be in these. Open the bowl three. Open the bowl three? <laughs> okay. Nothing in it. What about you? Open the bowl one. Sugar. Open the bowl too. Flour. Why are they called jars when you examine them? All right, we're done. We're done in the kitchen. <laughs> let's, go, let's go upstairs. Um, mansion vestibule. All right. Uh, so what? We'll go upstairs. I think that's this one. You're in a hallway with two doors. Okay. Let's see. Let's gaggle. Open the door. What's inside? Door number left. Oh, hey, it's a lady. In like a children's bed? Does that have like it has like stars and moons on it? What is this, the kids room? You're in a bedroom. You smell a cheap strong perfume odor in the air. It must be a guest room. There's a woman asleep in the bed. Alright, so I have to assume that this is Joey Siegel's uh his uh secretary. So let's look at this woman. Hello, how are you? She's a real looker. You recall seeing her before. So I think let's see, can we confirm with where is it? We have a photo. Yeah, photo. Photo. It's a photo of the gal asleep in the bed. Okay, so now we know. Now we have a connection between this woman and Joey Siegel, since we found this in his house. Yay! Um, let's let's loot through doors. Loot, loot, loot through the uh, cabinets over here first. Open the night table. <laughs> night table. Um, all right. Let's see. Memo. It's a blank notepad. You notice the top sheet of the pad has several indentations on it. Okay, ball pen. It's a ballpoint pen. Cool. Glasses. It's a pair of reading glasses. Uh, I don't... I think... Oh, okay, I remembered something. Alright, so this is this is a cool thing. This is something that, like, I... Oh, my computer says power time is now. Give me a sec. Oh, all right, welcome back, everybody. It amazes me how routinely my my uh, laptop runs out of power when I'm doing this. Anyway, um, yeah. So this is something that kind of got me stuck for a while because I didn't know how I was supposed to do it. You remember way way back we got a pencil. Where is it? Where's that pencil? Um, way way back we picked up. There it is. Uh, go ahead. We, we picked up this pencil. So. The, the memo mentions that it looks like the top sheet's been torn off and there are indentations. So, this was something I actually remember doing when I was a kid. Uh, like, they, they have these things called, like, uh, 
it's like a rubbing kind of so you put like a piece of paper on top of something that has like indentations or extrusions or whatever um and you take like a like a piece of charcoal or like a chalk or something like that and you kind of rub it across the surface of something and it makes little uh it, it leaves behind uh the like the, the either if it was in the indentations it leaves behind in white uh what was written there so what you do is you use this pencil to basically make a rubbing on used how to try to use the pencil on the pencil makes sense um where is it uh on the memo so using the pencil pencil to shade over the indentations on the pad you are now able to read the indentations so yeah that's just i don't know i think that's a cool thing that they uh that they let you do um and there was a period of time where i was stuck because i just didn't i didn't think like first of all i'd forgotten that i got a pencil i got that we got that back in like the first area i think and i also just didn't think that that was what i would do with it it just you know because i mean it's very innocuous it's just memo you know it doesn't look like you know secret information but let's take a look at and see what we have timetable 2 15 a.m be sure joe's bar is closed up and all employees are gone 2 30 a.m have the missus situated in the women's stall make sure she is bound and unconscious 2 45 a.m be waiting near the bar bar front door for ace's arrival 3 o'clock a.m Put Ace in stall. Make sure he's unconscious. Inject him with 10 cc's of diethanol trimene. Take his gun and stuff. 3.15 a.m. Wait for Siegel. 3.30 a.m. Get Siegel behind his desk, then plug him with Ace's gun. Get Siegel's car keys. 3.45 a.m. Plant Siegel's things on Ace. Put Ace's gu gun back. Be sure his fingerprints are on it. 4 a.m. Dump big misses in Siegel's car. Put stuff in glove box. Put car key in Ace's coat. Put other key in safe. 4.30 a.m. Leave bar and lock up. Be sure not to leave, not to leave ransom case behind. 5 o'clock a.m. On the way home, plant new Siegel letter in Ace's file. What a setup. If they don't do something soon, they'll nail you for murder and kidnapping. Boy, this is a nightmare. You'll have to get complete proof of your innocence to the cops. So, you, you, that, that right there is kind of the crux of the entire um, thing. What it sounds like is that whoever wrote that, presumably in some association with this woman, um, did a variety of things. First of all, they brought Mrs. Sternwood to the um, to Joe's bar, which and they put her in in the bathroom stall. And the reason the bathroom the toilet is broken is because as they must have like thrown her in there and she smashed against the. Uh, the toilet and cracked it so that's that's that so they brought her there and they made they made her unconscious maybe i don't know if they knocked they knocked her out in some way or another um then the the story says that ace shows up and um and they uh you know then they like kind of uh knock him out too and put him in the stall and and then joey so shows up it's not very clear though why they do it in this version and i think that's why i never really thought like i i never thought that ace was um the kidnapper because all that happens i don't know it's kind of ambiguous i think but i like it i don't know anyway so we have one more thing to do in here we have we found another unconscious person so guess what it's time to drug them let's see use medic one get this woman to talk uh Again, I love the idea that we're doing this with capsules. So, like, she's sleeping, we just kind of, like, we just kind of walk up, and then we start, like, we just stick medicine in her mouth. Um, and it's not a problem at all. Hold on. Uh, hey, everybody. Okay, welcome back. Sorry about that. Um, there was a woodpecker <laughs> on, on my balcony <laughs> for some, like, I, I heard a noise, and I was like, what is that? There's a woodpecker on my balcony. How odd. Anyway, that aside, I love the idea that we just take these capsules and just stick them in this woman's mouth, and she doesn't wake up. She's just like, oh yeah, I love taking vitamins while I'm sleeping. The medicine takes effect. She starts to meddle. You don't know me, Joey. You're gonna die for trying to stop me from seeing John. You see this gun? Here's what you get for meddling. She drifts back to sleep. Oh, what a convenient thing that she just happens to say. Like, all they mention is that this medicine is supposed to get you to t speak the truth, but... In, in our instance, it just makes them say, like, the most relevant thing to the story. 
I don't know, it's just sort of funny. Uh, so I guess now we have to assume that this woman killed uh, killed Joey Siegel. So that's good to know. Let's see what we got behind this door. Open the door. Oh, hey, another person. He always looked like he's wearing sunglasses to me. I don't think he's supposed to be, but he looks like he's wearing sunglasses. Um, you're in the master bedroom. There's a man asleep in the bed. Okay, let's look at this guy. What are, who are you, sir? It looks like Mr. Sternwood is having a nice sleep. <laughs> oh, good. Um, what's this? It's a briefcase that you recall having carried a little a while ago. So what does that mean? So again, getting back to this idea that the story's not as clear in this version, does that mean that this is Ace's briefcase? What does that mean? All right, let's look through it. Open, open the, open the briefcase. <laughs> open the briefcase. Uh, there's nothing in there, but I will take it anyway. Come here, you. Take, take the briefcase. Um, let's open up this night table and see what we got. Open the night, night table. <laughs> Tissue, candy box, envelope three. All right, what I've got? Tissue, it's box tissues. You know how to use them, don't you? You just put one to your nose and blow. I think that's a reference to a, uh, I don't know what movie it is, but there's some movie where it's like, uh, some, someone's like uh, saying, they're, they're trying to teach someone how to whistle and they're like, you know how to whistle, don't you? You just purse your lips and blow or something like that. I don't know, I don't know. Uh, candy box. It's a box of chocolates. Cool things. Uh, envelope three. It looks like a standard legal size envelope. Let's take that. That's probably something we need. Uh, envelope three. Let's open it up and see what we got inside. I don't think we need chocolates or tissue. I don't know. I don't think we do. And I have so much inventory that I kind of don't want to get unnecessary things if I can avoid it. I have more than enough things at this point. Um, open up envelope three. There we go. Open the envelope three. Letter two. Examine. It's a letter that says, Sternwood, this is my final warning. Keep your hands off Vickers or your wife gets the story. I don't think she'll look upon you so favor favorably in her will after that. Since Vickers belongs to me, you can pay, pay for her if you want her that bad. It'll, she'll cost you 20 grand. Oh, cool. Very, very, uh, very nice man, this Joey Siegel. So, all right, we have one last thing to do in this mansion before we, uh, before we can head along. Uh, we have to get this guy to tell the truth, too. So let's use our last sodium pentothal and have this man speak. Sir, I want you to take these take these drugs as you sleep. Let's see, medic one, medic one on the memo. I've tried to medicate the memo. I meant to do this. These controls are not good for me. I'm not good with them yet. Uh, that one. I do kind of like that the hand snaps to things. I think it did that in the original, too, but, um... It's very helpful. It's very helpful, especially with the menus. Uh, capsules. Put pentathol in the capsule. Use capsule on person. Yes, this fellow. The medicine takes effect. The man starts to mumble. Follow the time table to the letter and destroy the evidence from Madame. It'll look like Ace did the kidnapping for Seagull. See, it'll look like Ace did. So I think maybe when they made the NES one, maybe it's a family friendly thing, I'm not sure. They made it more like Ace was set up for the whole thing. And that's what I always thought until I saw the uh, that information about the Apple one where it kind of made it, like, it kind of made it seem as though Ace was in gambling debt. Like, there, there's sort of this, this idea that maybe Ace is like a big-time gambler and he was in huge debt to Joey Siegel, so it was kind of like, I don't know, it's, it's like a murky area whether or not he actually did the kidnapping. But in this one, I think it's pretty clear that he did not actually do it. Uh, don't worry about the missus. She'll suffocate before anyone finds her. He drifts back into unconsciousness. Oh, cool. So they were just going to leave her... Just leave her in the trunk until she died. And then we really would have been transporting a corpse. All right, so we are now done. Oh, wait, hang on. i got to open this first. Open this, please. There we go. Open the door. We are now done in the mansion. And I think we're almost done with the game. So, the strange thing about Deja Vu, in my opinion, is that it's not, like, as compared to something like Shadowgate, where you knew you were looking for the, um, like, you had a clear idea that you were looking for the, uh, Warlock Lord, in this one, your goal is to prove your innocence, um, and it, at least when I was younger, it wasn't immediately clear to me 
how you do that. And the way you do that is you have to have the correct collection of, um, what do you call it? Evidence to, uh, to basically convince the police that you're correct, that you, that you, uh, didn't do anything. So we have, so we have to go back to where the police are. So let's head back, get my money, get my money. This is the last time I think we'll have to pay the cabbie. Here you are, sir. Give the cabbie his fare. And now we have to try to make it back to Joe's bar without getting punched. Actually, you know, I'm up against time, and you guys have seen this street more than enough times. So in the next episode, we will try to beat the game. We, I think we've got everything we need to actually finish it. We've just got to um, figure out what evidence is needed and what evidence isn't. So I hope you'll come back for that. I'm the Moy Chicken. This is Deja Vu. Thanks for stopping by.